Hi, this is James Wiebe with CRU. I'm going to show you how to configure Ditto to use this feature called Quick Start. It allows an unskilled operator to use Ditto to easily make copies of hard drives, doing clones and images just like a professional. It prevents them from making mistakes by controlling the source and the destination ports that are enabled. Let's get started. We do it by going into the Configuration tab, which I'm clicking on now. Once we're into the Configuration tab, you can see the Quick Start menu over on the right-hand side. I'm going to click on that. In our situation today, we want to have an unskilled operator make clones of SATA drives to other SATA drives. That's what he's been tasked to do. We don't want him to screw it up, so we're going to go in here and select Clone from the drop-down. It is the top one on the list. Then in looking through the allowed sources, we realize in this situation they've all been checked. That's not correct. We're going to uncheck all of the ones that are not eSATA or SATA, which simply means that we're leaving this first one here, the eSATA one checked. On our destination, we only want to allow him to capture a uh, drive from the source side over to the eSATA A port. So we're going to check that one as well simply by selecting it from the drop down list. There, we've done it. We have an action which is clone a source disk. We're allowing a SATA source and we're going to a selected SATA destination. We hit the commit changes, which I've now done. And just a moment later, it comes back uh, indicating that it has successfully made the changes to the ditto. At this point, we've selected our options for the quick start function and we still have one step left to enable it. And that is simply to enable it. In order to do that, we're going to go back over to the system, which is that tab, and we see the Quick Start Enable button is right here. We're going to go ahead and select that drop down, select Enabled. The very last step is to hit the Commit Changes button, which we've now done. And at this point, we notice that the screen of our Ditto has changed. It now says QS colon, which simply means it's in Quick Start Clone Mode. And it's telling us that we need to connect a source and that we are only allowing a destination of an eSATA drive. There we've connected the source side and we put in an eSATA drive as the source. It's recognized that the source is there and it's now directing us that uh, the destination needs to be installed. Notice how the message on the screen is changed to connect clone destination. Let's go ahead and install the destination drive into the eSATA A port now. Okay, now we've attached the SATA drive into the eSATA A port. And at this point, we now see that the screen has prompted us with a ready. It now knows that there's both a source and a destination drive. All we need to do is to hit enter and the function will start. So, without any interaction from the computer system, to which we're still attached, we see that from the front panel, we are now able to start the operation and it's giving back all of the feedback. In a similar manner, the unskilled operator would be able to image from other source to other destination drives throughout the course of using Ditto. It's easy to use and we've designed it so that the operator is always directed to make the correct decision. 